all set. And uh, away they go from the 1700 meter marker. Good enough start for them. Empress Wu along the inside began well past the batons up there in the white cap. Glamorous Lady 3 Deep Regina Maris is on the outside of runners in the red cap. Ancient Wisdoms drop back a few places. The white sleeves racing seven lengths off the leader just in front of it as Ambitious Lady. Path Fairy races further back. Plum Blossom won from last. And Beverly Baby is the trailer, the black cap just outside of it. They're going now towards the 1100 meter mark and Glamorous Lady has found the lead, leads it by a length. Regina Maris, the red cap racing second, past the baton, one off the fence third. Racing just along its inside is Empress Wu, then came Ambitious Lady in the purple, seven lengths to make up, Ancient Wisdoms behind that, then came Path Fairy. Plum Blossom is towards the inside in the blue and Beverly Baby is the trailer as they come down the straight 800 meters left to run past the baton leads the way up the centers fighting with the rider down the inside is glamorous lady still right there as now past the baton starts to drop away further back in the field is ambitious lady in the purple followed by empress Wu on the far inside outside is path fairy and then came ancient wisdom 400 meters to go glamorous ladies in front past the batons not done for just yet then ambitious lady empress who is running on on the far inside in the pink and further back is Ambitious Lady. Glamorous Lady still goes here yeah, down the inside. Ambitious Lady runs a big race. Then came Empress Wu and passed the baton. It's Ambitious Lady in front from Glamorous Lady into the closing stages, then passed the baton. But Ambitious Lady goes on to win. Second, Glamorous Lady. Third place, possibly passed the baton. Then came Empress Wu. Yes, you hit on replay. Glamorous Lady in the light blue, three or four off the left hand side, still holding the advantage. But yes, Ambitious Lady in the purple colors running a very good race and will slide right past Glamorous Lady in the closing stages and pull away and win. 1 6 3 9, that's how they cross the line in the fourth. Race 5 will be up next at uh, 20 to 3. Number one, Ambitious Lady is one year, and a, a top ride there by Gavin Lorena. Well then to the Palmers. Lovely having the Lensleys here to celebrate this. Rites Krell Stud Bread. And the groom today is Yape. Yape, well done. One and a half thousand rand world sports betting. Thank you, Sir Koribas. Thank you, Javan. Thank you, Xblay. Yes, it's nice to have the winners, and uh, tell Corey, keep on going now. Yes, Blay, Blay, Baya Blay. Well done, Yap. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, let's get Gavin into the picture next. Um, Gavin, you rode the horse the last twice. Uh, you felt something last time, decent run. Yeah, last time was a, a great run. run. Uh, the run before was also good. I mean, that day she had to carry top weight and give a lot of weight away to, to other horses. And uh, But last time was a good second, and it's nice that she's followed up today. I thought it was a com more competitive field than last time. Uh, but Mr. Lensley's done a great job, and uh, you know he's getting it to strengthen every run, which is great. And uh, it was a lovely one. Just going back to Kimberly, it's ironic how you're winning for Corey and, Mu and Muzzy's finishing second, isn't it? <laughs> 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 yeah, look, it's just nice the race worked out. Obviously, Muzzy went very slow up front, and and Raymond challenged him. Uh, <coughs> Raymond did the right thing by challenging him a bit, a bit early and uh, I was just able to get into the slipstream and um, you know just let her get there quietly and uh, she gave me the kick and it was a, a nice one. Well done Gab, we've got to get a nice nickname for you because I know you don't have one, we'll find one. <laughs> <laughs> just a big thanks again to the Lensley family and to all the guys at the yard, they really love this filly and to Mr and Mrs Palmer, thank you very much and to Vachobos Shrift and Miss Fontaine. Right, on the board. Thank you, Gavin. Right, here he is, Corey Lensley, man of the moment. Well done. Horses come back to form nicely. Yeah, we're starting to tick him over. You know, as soon as the stables start rolling, everybody gets positive and then the results come. But uh, my horses are running well at the moment. Yeah. yeah. And long may last, right? Yeah, we're trying. You know, we haven't got the best of stock and the most of stock, but, but what we have is we give our best. You know, uh, I, I love my horses. I look after them as best as I can. And that's it. Uh, coming back to this filly, Graham and Vijay, thank you very much for sending this filly to me. You know, uh, she's, a, she's a slip of a filly. She looks like a, a rag doll. We call her slender because she's so slender. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know what? She's honest. That's, that's all I can say. She's honest. And uh, I think the fact that she's been trained at, at the Valley helped her. She was a very, very uptight filly, uh, full of, 
you know, sweating and uh, mm. the nerves were shot. Uh, yes, he walks out of the stable, come to the track. She gets a little bit uptight still, but but it doesn't doesn't do as much as you needs to travel or all that stuff. Uh, you know, it's it's much easier for you. Yeah. yeah. I just just bringing back memories. How many interviews I've done with you in the old days at Kimberley? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this man needs horses. He knows how to train them. <laughs> yeah, I just want to then uh, to Gav. You know, uh, we have a good jockey on yours. Mm. You always have a chance. That's why I always use Muzi and. Uh, yeah. Uh, this unf gap. unfortunately I have to beat him today, but uh, you know what? It's it's nice being in racing. Uh, then there's a, my media guy, uh, Graham Niven. His wife is very ill at the moment with cancer. I just want to say to her, uh, get better. I want to say to Graham, uh, you know, strong for us. Uh, then uh, to Belinda Victor and Peter Victor. Uh, it's his daughter's uh, late daughter's birthday today. Uh, you know, we tried to celebrate the birthday with with the filly in the first race. That mm -hmm. didn't pan out the way we should have. Uh, but it happens, you know, I just want to say again to them, they're marvellous people. And uh, you know what, the angel is looking down on them every day and uh, the best of, of everything for them. Nice thoughts, Corey. Thank you. Yeah, and he's, uh, he's my sponsor as well. Oh, Black well, Crescent, we yeah. So, uh, Black Crescent, thank you. Well and then my wife uh, Ant, Ant started working by me about two months, two and a half months oh, ago. That's why you started winning, because Ant's <laughs> working for you now. <laughs> no, I'm sorry for the word. I nearly gave the F word. No, don't. Uh, that, he, that, he, that, he, that he does his bit. <laughs> no, you know what? He's grafting hard, and no, the results I'm, will come. I'm only teasing. And will you please accept the check for the Palmers? Uh, that is 15,000 Rand ROA. Thank you so much, Corey. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Graham, this is mine now. <laughs> yeah. He's having a picture. His lovely wife's taking a picture with a big check. Thank you, Corey. You can keep it, uh, says Mr. Palmer. I'm joking. Right, one, six, three, and nine. That is race number four. Ambitious Lady's done the job. And we're moving on to race five and jackpot two shortly.